Now let us simplify these five Boolean expressions with the help of a four variable Karnoff map. Uh, if we have four variables, then totally we will get 2 power 4 cells or squares as well as 2 power 4 min terms. So this is a four variable Karnoff map. Here we have four variables A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D means left hand side. Varia C D means right hand side. The possible combinations are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. So, 0, this cell represents 0, 0, 0, 0. 0, 0 in decimal notation is 0. So, this is nothing but M0, 0th mean term. Okay. Uh, likewise, if we observe this cell, this cell represents 0, 0, 0, 1. 0, 0, 0, 1 in decimal notation is 1. So, this cell represents M1 mean term. Whereas, we can write this as A bar, B bar, C bar, D also. So, in the examination, we may get min term 1 or A bar, this min term also. A bar, B bar, C bar, D also. So, likewise, this is nothing but 0, 0, 1, 1. So, double 0, double 1 means third min term. Next, 0, 0, 1, 0 means 2. So, it is second min term. So, likewise, if you observe this cell, so this cell represents 0, 3, 1. 0, 3, 1 means 7. So, this cell represents min term 7. Or we can write this cell as A bar B C D. So, likewise, if you observe this row, if you observe this cell, this cell represents 1, 1, 1, 1. So, 1, 1, 1, 1 in decimal notation is 15. So, this cell represents uh, min term 15. Let us solve the problems. Here, while solving the problem, our aim should be, uh, here the group should be in the form of powers of 2. So, that means 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3, 2 power 4, likewise. Here, here uh, actually we are having 16 cells. So, first we have to search for group which contains 16 cells. So, next we have to search for the group which contains 8 cells. So, next we need to search for its lower order, 4 cells. So, next we need to search for 2 cells. So, next for 1 cell. So, group should be in the form of powers of 2 only. And our major aim should be the here the group should contain more number of 1s. If the group contains more number of 1s, then what will happen is the term should contain less number of variables less number of variables. So, that is our major motive here. So, first let us simplify the first this expression. So, here 0 already the table was filled. So, 0 means this cell whereas 2 means this cell, 4 means this cell, 5, next 6, next 10, 10 means this cell, 13, 14. Already the table is filled. So, for the corresponding min terms we have to write 1 in the table. Okay. Uh, now, we need to perform the pairing. So, first we need to search for uh, 16 ones. That is not there. Next, 8 ones also not there. Uh, here we have 4 ones. So, we can make the group which contains these 4 ones as a group. So, we can make all these uh, cells as a group. Uh, so, let us write the simp uh, term here. Uh, here it is changing. 0, 0, 2, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. It is changing. So, there is no need to consider this value. So, we need to consider only this value 1 0. So, 1 0 means C D bar. So, 1 0 means uh, let us write uh, in the upper hand side. So, 1 0 means C D bar plus plus uh, next. Uh, next, we have to cover these four ones. Here, what we can do is we can make the group contains these four adjacent cells as a group. So, we can make these four adjacent cells as a group. Why? Because if we observe 1 0 0 0, 1 0 0 0 are nothing but adjacent cells. What are adjacent cells? Adjacent cells means those only one variable should be different. If we observe these two cells, only one variable is different. So, we can make these four cells as a group. Okay. So, let us see what is the term here. What is the term here? 0, 0, 0, 1. What is the common variable? 0 is the common variable. 0 means A. 
So A is 0 means we can write it as A bar. Here B is changing from 0 to 1. So there is no need to consider B. So likewise if we observe these two cells. So A, C is changing from 0 to 1. So there is no need to consider C. Whereas D is 0 only. Uh, it is common variable. So D is 0 means we can write it as D bar. Uh, next these two ones are not covered here. Okay. So we can make these two cells as a pair. Okay. Uh, what is the term here? What is the mean term here? One is common here, whereas uh, zero, uh, A is changing from 0 to 1. So 1 means the value of B. So we can write this as B, whereas uh, this, this column is nothing but 0, 1. 0, 1 means C bar D. 0, 1 means C bar D. So B, C bar D. So this is the simplified expression for this problem. Now let us solve the next problem. Let us see this problem. So already here the table is completely filled. Uh, so what we can do here? Uh, here the uh, here the group doesn't contain 16 cell, 16 ones. Uh, here we don't have 16 ones or a, uh, 8 ones and 4 ones also. So what we can do is we can make these two ones as a pair. We can make these two adjacent cells as a pair. So what is the combination here? 0, 1. So 0, 1 means 0, 1 means we can write it as what is 0, 1? 0, 1 means we can write it as A bar B. 0, 1 means we can write it as A bar B. A bar B. Uh, next here, what is the common here? Uh, here C means common variable, whereas D is changing from 0 to 1. So we have to take 0 here. So 0 means it is C value. So we have to write it as C bar. Uh, next, we can make these two adjacent cells as a pair. Uh, so here what is the common one here 1 so 1 means the value of b so we can write this as b uh, next here 1 0 so 1 0 means the value of cd so 1 0 can be called written as cd bar plus uh, here we have two ones uh, so what we can do is uh, we can make these two as uh, a pair we can make these two as pair why because if we observe 1 1 and 1 0 1, 1, 1, 0 are adjacent cell, cells only. Why? Because they differ by only one variable. So we can make these two as a pair. Okay. Uh, so here, uh, if we observe these two cells, so 0, 0, 1, 0. So what is the common variable here? B value. What is B value? 0. So that means it can be written as B bar. Uh, next, if we observe here, 1, 1 means CD. So this is the simplified expression for solving this problem. So now let us see the third problem. Uh, 0 sigma m of so, so here what is small m small m means it is a min term so sum of products sigma means sum so already the table that uh, uh, table is completely filled uh, so now we have to do the pairing uh, so if you observe here uh, we can make these four as a group as well as we can make these four adjacent cells as a group okay uh, so for this one what is the uh, min term here uh, 0 0 1 0 so what is the common variable second 0 so second 0 means it is d bar d bar d bar second 0 means d bar as well as if we observe these two here 0 0 1 0 yeah already it is written it is b bar it is b bar uh, 0 0 1 0 so second 0 is common yeah d bar as well as b bar so b bar d bar b bar d bar plus if we observe b bar d bar okay is it visible or not let's see here yeah it is not visible uh, so let us write a little bit above so b bar d bar b bar d bar plus if we observe these two four cells so one is common so one means the value of b if we observe these two so one is common so one means the value of d so the simplified expression for this problem is uh, b d plus uh, b bar d bar so now let us uh, see the next problem uh, if we observe this problem, this problem is uh, typical. If if we make these four cells as, if we make these four cells as a group, these four cells, if we make these four cells as a group, then uh, we will have one group. Uh, next, we can make these four cells as second group. Next, we can make these two, these two. That means these four cells as another group. So that means totally we will get three groups where each group should contain four variables. 
so instead of that what we can do is what we can do is we can make these four ones as one group and then these two are nothing but adjacent cells 0 0 1 0 are nothing but adjacent cells why because they differ by only one value one variable okay so we can make these two as we can make these four as a group so that's why here while solving the Carnot map so we need to search for different ways so uh, not only single way we need to search for multiple ways okay actually if we form this one as a group then we will have three groups but here what is our aim our aim should be uh, it should contain minimum number of terms where each term should contain minimum number of variables okay if you make this as a group then it should contain three groups three group means three terms so instead of that we can solve the problem like this so we need to search for different uh, permutations and combinations okay uh, so let us see the expression here uh, so these four ones as one group so here what is the common one one so one means the value of b so b uh, next if you observe these two cells what is the common value zero so first zero first zero means c bar so b c bar plus if we observe the this group 0 1 1 1 means 0 1 1 1 means 1 is common so 1 means d value 1 means d value uh, whereas uh, c is changing from 0 to 1 so there is no need to consider that one whereas if we observe 0 0 1 0 uh, a is changing from 0 to 1 so there is no need to consider that whereas b is constant common what is b value 0 so b value is 0 means we can write as b bar so likewise we can solve so let us see the last problem here let us see the last problem so this is the last problem so sigma m of sigma m of 0 ka, uh, 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 7 comma 9 comma 13 comma 14 comma 15 so let us solve that problem so first we have to uh, fill the table uh, so what is the first one uh, so let us write uh, decimal numbers here 0 1 2 3 next 4 5 6 7 next 8 9 10 11 next 12 13 14 15 okay so 2 3 6 7 14 15 10 11 yeah so what is the first uh, term here 3 so this is 3 next 4 means this cell represents 4 next 5 means this cell represents 5 next this cell represents 7 uh, next 9 this cell represents 9 uh, next this cell represents 13 next to 14 15 14 15 these two cells represents 14 15 okay so now there is no need of these zeros so let us uh, erase these zeros so that uh, we can form the group uh, in a neat manner yeah yeah so what we can do now what we can do now if we make these four ones as a group we can make these four ones as a group. If we make these four ones as one group, then what are the uncovered values? This one is uncovered, this one is uncovered, this one is uncovered, this one is uncovered. So we have to cover them, but we will cover them only with the help of this group only. So we can make these two ones as a group. Next, we can make these two ones as a group. We can make these two ones as a group. We can make these two ones as a group. So totally we will get this group as well as second group, third group, fourth group, fifth group. But, but instead of that what we can do is uh, there is no need to make uh, these four ones as a group. So we can make these two ones as one group. We can make these two ones as one group. We can make these two ones as one group. We can make these two ones as a group. So first if we form these four ones as a group then what will happen we will get we will get five terms but that is unnecessary group so that's why we need to think in multiple ways in order to solve the problem uh, so let us write the let us write the expression here uh, 0 1 means a bar b uh, let us write first for this one so 0 1 means a bar b a bar b if you observe these two adjacent cells c is common so 0 c means 0 so that means c bar c bar if you observe these two this pair if you observe this pair 0 0 0 1 so, so that means first 0 is common so a bar a bar next 1 1 means cd cd next if we observe this uh, this pair 
So 1, 1, 1, 0. So 1 is common. So 1 means A value. Next 0, 1. 0, 1 means C bar D. Next, if you observe this one, 1, 1. So 1, 1 means A, B. A, B. Next, 1, 1, 1, 0. 1 is common. So 1 means C value. Uh, so likewise, we can solve any problem very, very easily. In the next video, we will solve some more examples on the four variable Carnot map.